Happy holidays, everyone. Uh, okay, this is, uh, <coughs> we're gonna be rating eggnog from uh, best to worst, or alternatively, worst to best. It's yet to be uh, seen yet, be determined, because we are eggnog connoisseurs, if you didn't know. So, uh, why don't you explain how we're doing this for me? I guess I will. So we have eight different types of eggnog and eight silver cups filled with each of the types of eggnog. And we put a number on the bottom of the cartons and a number on the bottom of the cups. And we mixed all the cups up so we don't know which one is which. I have no idea right so now. So it's going to be a blind taste test. Blind. And uh, then we'll let you know which one we think is the best. So you can make your decisions on which one to buy. Um, we uh, we're going to rank them as we go along, too. We're going to put them in like the order from best to worst. And our taste buds are excellent, by the way, so you can trust us. Definitely. Okay. Uh, we have eight going on here. Let's see. Eeny, meeny, miny. Help us pick. Well, do you want to introduce? I mean, do you want to say which kind we have first? Fantastic Maybe. Fantastic idea. Okay, we'll start uh, Nelly's. Uh, I've never heard of this brand before. Um, Looks like it might be organic, which means it's going to be great. Yeah, means the eggs it's made with are probably brown. Um, free range eggs, it says. So uh, it's got a little cute snowman gimmick on there, I guess. Certified humane. Oh man, they treat their chickens nice. Oh, that's great. Check it out. Nelly's. Okay, next. Hot shit, hot shit. Let's see, and next we got uh, Southern Comforts, non alcoholic. Yeah, the liquor is not already in it, unfortunately. It's, it tells you non alcoholic right here, but it's not just regular pasteurized. This stuff is ultra pasteurized. I'm not sure I'm pointing at the right spot. Yeah, totally. And. What's next here? Lactaid! Funny story about uh, lactaid. Well, it actually tells you to enjoy eggnog again because you know I weren't really enjoying it before, but apparently you can uh, enjoy that stuff again if you weren't. At least that's what it's telling us, anyhow. Um, funny story about lactaid. I didn't get it for years and years. I was aware of it. Have I told you the story on you? I don't think so. Okay, uh, I thought it was an aid for lactation. <laughs> I thought that's I thought that's what his gimmick was, and uh, yeah, so I didn't really get it. And, and but you do get it now, right? I think it was with all the other. <laughs> <laughs> it was with all the other milk. I'm like, why is it so close to it? That's weird. And uh, yeah, so I, I thought it was for like pregnant women or like women that just had babies. So, Make milk. Milk. <laughs> yeah, I thought it was an aid for lactation, you know? But yeah, this goes out to all you lactose intolerant people out there. Hopefully this is our favorite just for you. That real eggnog, no discomfort, apparently. Nice. Ooh, the gingerbread cookie. No diarrhea excellent. with this one. <laughs> next, Why don't you show us this next one? We have... Lucerne Dairy Farms Holiday Eggnog, because you can't drink it any other time, but the holidays. <laughs> the holiday and... nog or is it eggnog? What is that one? Huh? Oh, eggnog. I've seen someone will say holiday nog. Yeah, th that's because they're cool, and it, <laughs> you're always cooler when you leave a word out. Yeah. But here's this one. It's um, one of the brands found at our local grocery store, Albertsons. Shout out to Albertsons. And next we got, uh, oh, Bold House Farms. Is that who makes, like, the smoothies and stuff? Yeah, they have, like, a lot of vegetable smoothies and stuff, so I thought maybe this one would be, like, eggnog-flavored vegetables. <laughs> but uh, it looked like it had it has uh, actual eggs and milk on the label, so... Oh, see, look, Holiday they're, Nog. They're cool, so they just put Holiday Nog yep, and yep. not eggnog. And so I asked, I asked Rachel here, uh, well, this probably doesn't have eggs in it, right? I think I assumed it didn't. She's like, no, there's eggs in there. You said you read it. 
So now you can feel good about celebrating all season long. Sounds like all all these brands, or at least a few of them, sounds like they had negative feelings about eggnog before their specific eggnog came out. Like, I mean, uh, I mean, you got to promote your stuff somehow, you know? Yeah, what, what was that other one? Uh, now eggnog is enjoyable again, or whatever. Uh, now this, this one, one is... Uh, yeah. That's just because, you know. <laughs> no, I won't get into that one. It's okay. Well, what's happening to that? Um, yeah, this one's low fat. 80% less fat. 75% less cholesterol. 55% fewer calories. Fewer calories on what? Um, that was in the leading traditional eggnog brand. I can read you guys a little bit. Now you can feel good about celebrating all season long. I, are they going to have it out a year? Is that what they're getting at? I highly doubt yeah, it. No, Limited it's, edition. It's, all these are only around the holidays. Were any of these others low fat so far? Or just this one, huh? Uh, just that so one. Uh-huh. Okay, yeah. So I guess to me, low fat probably means it'll be not the best. But mm-hmm. we'll see. It might come out on top. Well, I'll say I enjoy their smoothies. At least I, I haven't got them in a while, but... Uh, <laughs> That's why I haven't enjoyed them in a while. No. It's this one here. Yeah, I, I had no idea that they made eggnog. Or holiday nog. I apologize. Um, let's see. There's a next one. I guess a little cinnamon, cin- cinnamon sticks in there. I got cinnamon. Cinnamon. And you can do the next one too, baby. No ziggity do. This one is- it's almost empty. Did you? Were you drinking this while you were pouring it? No, I just poured it extra. Okay. Because this, one... this brand makes our favorite regular milk and chocolate milk because it's so creamy and it coats your throat and it's amazing. So we think <laughs> this one might come out on top. Just a guess. Funny story about this one, too. Uh, okay, so we've gotten some of their chocolate milk, and I, I decided I was going to... Uh, well, I went on their website because I guess I was that big of a fan of their chocolate milk. I don't know what I needed to find out on their site, but some told me I gotta know more. And uh, went on their website and I was looking at their different products. It said they had eggnog and um, it said it was be released, I think, October 1st. I remember way too much of this, but anyhow, um, uh, I hadn't seen it out and. Um, some reason my brain, since another chocolate milk brand I get a good bit is Fair Life. Fair Life. Fair Life. Fair Life. And uh, I decided uh, my brain that yeah that I was on the Fair Life site and that's the chocolate milk that I was yeah, drinking. Yeah, we both remember that he was on the Fair Life site, <laughs> so we were trying to find Fair Life eggnog, which doesn't exist because. I even emailed <laughs> Fair Life to <laughs> say email. what happened to the eggnog that was on your website. And, uh, yeah, cause we went back on the side and we were gonna go, it was like some weird Mandela effect type deal. But all and, along, uh, <laughs> we were thinking about Promised Life. Or Promised Land. Promised yeah. Land and <laughs> Promised Life. Fairland, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, it says richer and creamier. So, I'll see about that. Can't wait to taste yeah, the Jersey the cow difference. Love. I don't know if I can show your love on camera, darling. See, it's more ultra pasteurized, old fashioned. Okay, it's about to find out about that. Hopefully, it's not an old product. Let's see. You see that in there? See this Jersey cow? It's like one happy cow. And I heard that Jersey cows are some mean suckers. <laughs> I know they're like really huge. They got some good tans. I'll tell you what. <laughs> you can do, okay, can do I'll, these I'll do the, These are I'll, some fun brands. I'll do the next one. It's our local dairy here in Baton Rouge, Louisiana. Um, yeah, it's Klein Peter Traditional Eggnog. Made in Baton Rouge. From cows, not treated with RBGH. Nice. But RBGH, real big We really bugs. hope this one <laughs> comes out. In the top three, at least, because, you know, it's our hometown stuff. Trying to represent. Represent. That's going to be up to their product, though. Yeah, they better represent or else. The last one is Oak Farms Dairy. Um, 
Not much to say about this one. <laughs> it Very is, unremarkable. Yeah, they, they're not trying to promote anything on their label and nothing is... Eggnog is just a front for their real products, whatever that could be. Yeah, I, I don't even know what else they make, but... Anyhow, here's this one. Oak Farms. Yeah, we're very just excited about plain holiday about eggnog. How could you not be with that bottle? Right? Okay, here we go. <laughs> uh, where, where should we start? Let's pick a cup. Uh, the silver one, I guess. They're oh. all silver, baby. <laughs> okay. Uh, I meant to get you these because I thought they were gray, your favorite color. Well, they are gray. You know, <laughs> if you don't count the metallic. <laughs> <Most of them>. <laughs> <laughs> I'll let you go first. Yeah. Oh, you're so sweet, baby. I am. Smells like eggnog. <laughs> we'll taste it right away. Gotta... Take it. Mm. I'll definitely buy this one again. I'm gonna put this one in place six. I mean, every, <laughs> pretty much everything has to go somewhere first until something else knocks it out of that place, right? All right, that's that's because uh, I didn't know how we we're gonna do that. I just thought about that, but yeah, that's that's perfect. Yeah. Okay, so we we tried this one. Mhm. Mm I guess put it in the corner here. And uh, it, it, it was pretty good. Not remarkable, but pretty good. And I would definitely drink a whole lot of it. Pick one, baby. This Pick one looks one. pretty eggy here. It smells good. This one's good. Oh, okay. Alright. So definitely you think knocks out the, the last one we tried for first place? Okay. I, I would say so, yeah. It smells like it's like got caramel or something weird on it. What we're smelling is gray cup paint. No. <laughs> no. In the gray cup. The cup the cups were not modified in any way. I don't know, let's see. Mm -mm. No? So are, are we are Oh we baby, do this no. For two ways. We should have had two different colors of cups to do with this. Wait, no, th this one tastes like it has um uh, smoke in it. Like we've been drinking it around the campfire. Taste it again. Maybe that's why I like it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not noticing it, but I guess that makes sense. I might drink all of this, but I'm gonna keep it real. Do um, you think that one's better than the last one? Yes. Oh god, no, I don't think so. <laughs> Alright, well. We'll place those neck and next, neck. Yeah. Because we do not agree on those. Right, you, you pick the next one. I'm gonna go with this one. It's uh, pretty frothy looking. <laughs> Treat you that one in milk. I can't smell anything with this one. I think that smoke flavored eggnog <laughs> might have wiped out my. I didn't bring any crackers up there. Cleans your palate with a leaf. If it was a real leaf, probably mm -hmm. I would. Ew. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, sorry if you're um, whichever company I just sent you about. But, um. No. Tastes like there's melted plastic mixed in with this one to me. I, wait, I might know why. No, I'm saying, I don't know. Let's see. I like that one. Really? I You're gonna like, like all of them. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> they, they just keep getting better and better. <laughs> they didn't know. To me, the first one tastes how eggnog should taste. It's um, like classic eggnog. Maybe I'm a holiday nog guy. <laughs> Let's see. Um, how do we place this one? You think that one's at the same level as those two? 
Uh, I think it's at the level of um. Here, do you have the sharpie with you? Yeah. No. Let me get it. All right. Yeah. Let's do the sharpie. Begin right on them. Now we're thinking. I'm gonna cheat while she's in there. I mean. Okay. So. We can. <laughs> I don't know how to do this. I was thinking we could put our own rating on the, like I could do top or and you could do bottom or something like that. Oh uh, yeah, I like that. Yeah, it's good. Um. But then we'll have to keep marking out the numbers if someone replaces it. <laughs> I'll do Cameron yes, or like a thumbs up. Well, how would that how would that rank them? Because I'm I'm pretty sure you're gonna like all of these. <laughs> well, we'll decide which one's the best. I mean, we might not be able to do best to not best, but we can at the very least find a best. Might be we the middle might be uh, kind of scattered, but we'll have a favorite and a least favorite for sure. I think. So I'm going to have to re-taste them after, I think, because I'm sure people want to know which one tastes like it has plastic melted into it, and which <laughs> one tastes like you've been drinking around a campfire. Right, baby? This is a thumbs up. That's a rabbit head. Really, Especially baby? a thumbs up looks like a rabbit head. I'm all right. Good. Oh, MG. <laughs> Here you go. Okay. Taste this one and share your... Which one is this? The, the one with the plastic in it? I didn't taste any plastic. Or the smoke. So you're going to have to determine that one. Because again, we don't know which is which right now. That's the smoke <laughs> one. Dear God. <coughs> <laughs> smoke is giving her a little asthma attack. Okay, I'm, I'm placing this one after that one. I don't know how to rank it, but this one I think is my number one so far. I think far. that's the one you're enjoying, yeah. yeah that was the most uh, eggnog -ish. Tastes like eggnog. Did you want to taste it again? Yeah. I couldn't decide what I was trying to do. Okay, and this other one, to me, um, was not quite as bad as the smoke one. I'm going to move this one toward the, the bottom for the nut. Is great size. Right <laughs> yeah, no, I don't like this one at all. All right, plastic on this one <laughs> and smoke on the previous one. That's how I know. You're gonna write it out on each one, each one, plastic and smoke, because that's probably what you're gonna do. No, I'm saying like depending on what it is, I'll remember. Mm. You know, so when I line them up at the end, when we find out. Okay, this is taking so long, but you know, we're gonna get through it one day. I'm picking the next one mm -hmm. right now. Doesn't smell like anything. The color is pretty, pretty orange looking compared to the other one. So let's see, maybe it has a lot of yolks. <laughs> it's not, I guess, it, it's really tempting to look at these and just see if I can identify it from that now. Some of these are clear. This one kind of tastes like melted vanilla ice cream. You don't mind if I do. Like it, it leaves um. It smells like it too. Kind of like a residue in your mouth. It's like they put too much vanilla and it mm. just tastes like melted ice cream. That I, I like this one a lot. I mean, that's. Because you love melted ice cream. <laughs> do you see? Do you see that flavor, I love, though? I do. I, I totally. Now that you say it, absolutely. Well, I love ice cream. It's just after I grab it, we are still in the store for like another hour usually. <laughs> 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 Got to get those pans. <laughs> I think this one needs more cinnamon. Definitely needs more cinnamon. Maybe it could use a little nutmeg because it's mostly just vanilla. Big. You really don't have to write your name because, like, you know your handwriting. Trust me. <laughs> uh, but anyhow. It's true. That's top tier for me. Right melted there. ice cream. This one goes next in line after the first one for me. So I, we, we both agree on this one. 
that's we're getting somewhere. Yeah, those are so disgusting. I can't believe you <laughs> like them. Is that one out of scent? No, you don't smell anything. Hmm. I like it though. I, I think you're gonna find this it one more doggy. A great nog stash. <laughs> Looks cute on you, baby. Uh, that's why I grew it up for you. Aww. <laughs> you think? I smell a little set. nutmeg going on in there. This one's pretty frothy, too. Let's see if it tastes frothy. Whatever that means. <laughs> if you know what I mean. <laughs> <laughs> Those, those are inside jokes, sorry, you're on the outside. This one is pretty damn good. It tastes like eggnog, right? Exactly how eggnog is supposed to be. And I think it's a little bit creamier than the first one. So this one is number one for me now. I, I'm going to have that one. Because uh, not only is it very, very, very good, I'd also say it tastes like eggnog. Oh, man, that one is good. Yes. <laughs> like is this, this going to be your number one? I, it's a so strong far? possibility. I'd, I'd have to go back with this one and taste mm, the smoky one again. Ew, yeah. really? I can't believe you have that one as your top one. Uh, well, like I said, I'd have to go back with this one. and. That one's definitely my number one. I'm right. Not very nice. <laughs> oh, my God. Smiley getting that little shade going. All right. Shades make it better. Super Please put that cool. one in front for me because that one is definitely my first. You can do that. I'll go with this one. It looks pretty brown. Looks like a melted frosty. Looks pretty brown compared to the other ones. Smells very cinnamony, which I love cinnamon, so this might be good for me. Woo! No. <laughs> no. That has too much cinnamon, which makes it very non <laughs> I love cinnamon. <laughs> but not this much, dear <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> Is that good a cinnamon challenge or what? Pretty, yeah, that's, it hits you pretty hard. All that cinnamon, here. Here, cleanse your palate. I smell good. <laughs> I feel like I, I just bit a, uh, some cinnamon, a cinnamon like stick. a cinnamon stick, it some smell like bark. <laughs> I just ate a churro. Ooh, it does smell like cinnamon, but it's not an exaggeration. Oh, wow. Yeah, but it's, that's, Pretty strong in cinnamon. It's very uh, creamy though. It's not that creamy to me. It's a, it's a little watered down compared to the other ones in my opinion. Oh wait, yeah. I mean, this tastes like cream to me, but it's that as far as the the texture or whatever, yeah. consistency. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that one's. I don't know. I I just I still can't get past the smoke and the plastic. Mm -hmm. But this one is definitely no. last okay. with those two. So. For me. Um, alright. No, thank you. <laughs> no, thank you. <laughs> I think I might know which one that is, actually. You, you It'll be interesting guess. to find out. Yeah, I guess you shouldn't guess, just in case you... Yeah, no, I'm gonna, uh... Sad say face. that, you know, at the end, when we find out. I, I keep losing parts of you. Okay, go. Pick right. what? Last two. Oh, God, it's so hard. Last two. The darker one. I'm you want the, the darker one, one or the light, lighter one? Okay. Give me the lighter one, y'all. <coughs> Excuse you. <laughs> kind of reminds me of the last one, just maybe a little bit less cinnamony. What do you mean by that? Like thin? Like the watery part, yeah. Like not as creamy? I think so. Hmm. Uh, here, you, you 
taste it. Then I'll come back to tell me what you think. It smells like eggnog. I sure you're not gonna love it. Sorry, I'm out of cinnamon for you. That's pretty good. <laughs> but it, it has, like, if you don't like nutmeg, this one might not be for you because it seems like it's pretty high on the nutmeg side, but I think it goes perfectly for eggnog. This is going to be probably my number three after the first one. And the one that was very nice. This is my third choice. Or it's back, y'all. I mean, if you heard. <laughs> All right, you gonna you gonna write on here? Here, yeah, right, three for me. can't tell if it smells like eggnog or not, it's but it's like a little frothy and darker than the last one. Let's see. I can't tell. Let's see. drinking more and more and more. You have to pour me more of it. Uh, which one is it? I can't describe the flavor, but it's definitely after the melted ice cream one and before the nasty last three. So about my fifth choice. All right, I want you to guess if I'm gonna like this one or not. Or You'll probably not. like it. Probably like it. Me. I do. But doesn't it taste like different somehow? Yeah. I can't quite put my finger on it, but yeah. I guess. It's, it's different, not in a bad way, but just not like classic eggnog way. It's got little dot gimmicks in there. Yeah, it's probably it's cinnamon or eggnog, we're gonna hope. <laughs> We're gonna hope dog. those big spots in there are cinnamon or nutmeg. How do you feel that one ranks for you? Um, that one's gonna go toward my higher end for sure. Um, I don't know that I'm gonna throw a number on it because my numbers, I haven't really had a good number system on it, but I'm gonna, uh, Enjoy. So pretty much the only one you didn't like was the one with a bunch of cinnamon, right? I think so. Well, I didn't really enjoy that that first one um, that you said taste how eggnog should taste. I wasn't proud about that one. Really? Yeah. The first one? Yeah. You gotta be kidding me. I'm, I'm afraid not. So my number two choice you didn't like, I mean, but you like plastic and smoke. <laughs> I Ew. really enjoyed smoke. So um, this was my number five. I'm not gonna say I didn't enjoy any of them, but in competition with the others, uh, yeah, I would say so. Yeah, it's a nine. nine. Okay, so the the no thank you <laughs> goes to number four. Which we'll see if we can find number four here. So should I should I lay under it and look up? I guess. Just just it doesn't just. <laughs> Check me. Okay. We're getting closer. Number four would be the one I thought. Haha. -ha. Bolt House Farms gets. Bolt House Farms needs the bolt. Hey, no, thank you. And uh, sorry, Bolt House Farms, for that. <laughs> Let's see. Um, My number one, I really want to know what it is. Which one was your number one? Nice. That one. Yeah, it's very nice. Number eight. Did you see number eight over there? Uh, perhaps. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think it's this one. Hey! Promised Land. 
Yeah, so Promise Land Enjoy. got my number one. <laughs> and that's 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 when we thought was uh Fair Life at that one point. Yeah. Chocolate milk. Alright. Promise well, Land. Um, Your stuff is awesome. They don't break their promises over at Promise Land. Yeah, their chocolate milk is like so good too. It just like coats your throat. We might have to do a chocolate milk uh comparison. I, I like that. Cause he is definitely a chocolate milk connoisseur. But anyhow, <laughs> next, I really want to know what the smoke one is, baby. Which, which this one? one. Okay. Number six. Mm -mm. Another little. <coughs> oh yeah, I don't like it as much that time. I taste it now. You taste the smoke? Yeah. No, I'm not. I'm not big on that one after all. It's one of those two. I'm gonna, I'm gonna guess oak. No, it's something. Oh my god! Clive Peter let us down! It did. It did. Baby! Something sad is going on at Clive Peter Farm. Baton Rouge let us. Well, oh my god! Big shock Baton Rouge let us down. <laughs> <laughs> True. <laughs> okay, so. It sounded so snobby. <laughs> big shock. <laughs> Okay. I guess because uh, we're born here, we'd rather not be here. I don't know. Usually it doesn't go that way, I think. I don't know if that's what it is. Maybe, though. I guess I wouldn't be able to know otherwise. I'm, I'm erasing good. I've changed my mind on that. Sorry. And take my thumbs up. I can turn this whole cup upside down. Oh, gosh. Down. Please don't. Uh, I, no, no, no. I'm going to write good, but I'm going to write no in front of it. <laughs> so I cross out the good and write no good. <laughs> I'll do a circle with like a thing through it. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, so this one is the smoke one. Oh, that really let me down. That's sad, huh? It was. Now the plastic one. Plastic taste. Let me one. let me try it again and see if I still like this one. Okay. I don't, I don't dislike it. I just, I, I, I tried it too many times and it always tasted like plastic melted into the eggnog to me. Like chemically. I could see something chemical. Yeah. Okay. okay, that's number two. Number two. Ah, this is the Nellie's. What do you know? Uh, maybe it's not so organic after all, but it sure does taste like plastic. <laughs> that's what. <laughs> it's like that for all, like, it ends up being, it's fantastic. Awesome. Melted ice cream. Number three. Wait, wait, which one do you, which one do you want to guess it is? Probably the generic one. No, I remember what that number is. So, so if it's that. not that one, it's probably that one. Holiday knowledge or egg knowledge? I mean, I guess lactate. Yep. Oh, it's lactate. So lactate tasted like melted ice cream. It it wasn't bad. I mean, it just tasted it's like melted, melted ice, ice cream. cream bad. Yeah, I know. So I mean, maybe you can enjoy eggnog again if you're lactose intolerant. And if you're trying to lactate. <laughs> Either way. <laughs> okay. Um, were the gimmicks on these? Uh, Number five for me, this was right after the melted ice cream, and you wrote enjoy on it, so. N dash enjoy. So we liked it okay, it wasn't bad. I had to get a little graham crackery. Graham crackery? Mm -hmm. Maybe. I'll be gingerbread. What is I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> this wasn't um, my favorite, but it's not bad. It's really not bad at all. I'd be, buy it again. Could be Soko. Could be Oak Farms. Or it could be Willow Southern. It's not Southern Comfort. That was going to be my guess. Wait, what number is it? Oh, it is Southern Comfort. Oh. <laughs> What do you know about that? That's right, baby. 
You enjoy that southern comfort. <laughs> All right. Last two are the two dun, generic dun, 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 ones. Dun, dun. And my number three, and I think my number one ended up being my number two. So. What? Huh? Oh. I wrote right, number right. one on it, then mm. the other one, The Promised Land, came out on top for sure. Oh, yeah. That, that was the bomb.com backslash awesome. Standing back shot steep with 10% off. I really like this one. Let me see if it beats this one. I'm just not. It has a lot of nutmeg. I don't know if that's what's turning me off of it. I find something, I don't know, kind of like, we're going to use the term plasticky, maybe about that one. Something, I don't know if I want to use the word synthetic. I smelled the, the Sharpie on the outside of the cup when I went to drink it. <laughs> but other than that, mm. it tastes uh, pretty nutmeggy compared to this one. This one doesn't taste like it has much nutmeg. A little bit. It makes, makes me want to go, like a, like a family get reference. Shut up, nutmeg. Sorry. Never mind, y'all. <laughs> Shut it down. <laughs> <laughs> I hate that. I hate that. These two taste very similar to me. Okay, so definitely for me, this one has more eggnog. I mean, more eggnog. <laughs> <laughs> we it could has change more that. nutmeg. <laughs> Just did the same thing. Number five is uh, Lucerne has more nutmeg. And what do you know? The most generic looking one of all, Oak Farms, was my number two. Not my poo. It was my second choice. <laughs> it will be later. <laughs> give it time. Give it time. And that was my no. He didn't like this one, but it was my number two. I don't get it. Only but, comparison. I, I think I've drank this one before. <laughs> like just like in a holiday, getting like eggnog. Because it, it definitely tastes very, very familiar to me. Now we have a lot of eggnog to drink. Oh, God, whatever will we do? <laughs> <laughs> All like, right, well, do you have anything else you want to say? I, I was going to say, um, oh. I, I think what it was about this one, the um, Oak Farms, I must have gotten it before, because it reminds me of, uh, it feels like the eggnog that I usually get, like, for the year. Like, I definitely recognize that taste before. I mean, it tastes classic. Yeah. That's why it was my number two choice. Maybe that it's, uh, I've had it. Tasted that one a lot. Maybe that's what's doing Maybe it for you me. just know what classic eggnog is supposed to taste like, and you want to taste something different. All right, that's a good note to. Yes, that'll do. I don't know, but anyhow, Klein Peter Farms, you really let me down, like really bad. Mm. I'm like, yeah, that's so true. sad that this tasted like I've been drinking it at. A campfire. Maybe it was the sodium silico illuminate that you put in it. Maybe I don't you, know. Maybe you give your cows R B G H. Yeah. <laughs> really. Maybe big. they need some growth hormones so they yeah. can make their uh, <laughs> the <laughs> cream totally taste good is. for the eggnog. But anyhow, if any of you brands want to prove us wrong, yeah. Do that by all means and there was I think two other brands that also like I think there's another two Southern Comforts at least one other one out there that we didn't get there's a fireball so there's a couple missing out but I, I think there's a pretty good cover you know um, let us know what you want us to cover next time we're thinking maybe chocolate milk or horchata some fat kids up here right now you know um, any ideas Suggestions. We'd love to hear them. Go for it. Fill us in. All right. Until next time. Thank you. Bye. Time to drink eggnog.